Welcome to my channel, JMC Creates. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's greatly appreciated. Um, my name is Jackie McKissick and this is a project I'm aiming for today. Aiming for and achieving can be two different things. So, we shall see how it goes, right? And it holds three... Lindor. Now I got these in my local Tesco's and then I created this box and then I sent my amazing husband back to get me some more and they were selling like hotcakes so these might have been or they might still be in my teacher gift bags. It will depend. I just, I know, and I know, you must know by now, like, I'm a big child in the toy shop when it comes to creating things. So, anyway, what did I use? Old Olaf cardstock, basic black cardstock, my little Christmas papers from Stampin' Up! from last year. This is a stamp from Tags and Trimmings from last year. Okay, this is just some ribbon from my stash. These are tacked up and ups. White things, white perfect accents. Okay, and they're all around here too. And this die is a tattered lace one. So that's that one. What are we doing this time? This time I'm using craft card and I'm using this as a retired foil from Stumping Up. I can't remember the name of it now, sorry. I don't know whether this die set is retired or not, but it's a lovely words thinlet dies. And I'm using the hugs one, which I've already cut out in the same Foil Frenzy cardstock, that's what it was called. And then I've cut a stitched circle die. One size bigger. And I used tardly stitch dies to cut this. Okay, and this time the ribbon I'm going to be used, I got in the clearance rack. And it is called Pumpkin Pie. Okay, pumpkin pie, stitched edge ribbon, pumpkin pie, stitched edge ribbon. It's amazing being able to see, I can't get over it. It makes crafting so much easier. Okay, right, I keep moving that, don't I? And I need that up there. So, where shall we begin? This is going to be our insert piece, and this is 11 by 7 and a half. This is going to be our front piece, and this is, this is 8 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 eighths. And this one is 12 by 5 and 5 eighths. So you'll need one piece of 12 by 12 and one piece of A4. Okay, note my brilliant destructions, my diagram, my other diagram, I have no idea what I was drawing there, <laughs> but hey, let's get ready to rumble. Right, 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 put you bits out there. I've got another, this is my next project, isn't that pretty? I love that. Anyway, that's sitting ready a video after this one. So, I thought I would do this one before I totally forgot what I was doing because I did make this a while ago. 11 inch side, this is your insert piece and you're going to score at every inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. One, seven, 
it name it and ten. And that's all you do in that one. So on this one, you want to score the short sides at one and one eighth. Flip it round, one and one eighth. Long side. One and one eighths. Eight and three quarters. And ten and three eighths. Now, for love nor money, I cannot recollect what I was doing there. <laughs> Go me! Right, the front one. Um, the front one you're going to score at, I know I cracked myself up, one and one eighths, one and one eighths on three sides, the left, the bottom and the right. Three sides only, one, two, three. Then you are going to mark down, you're going to your score line, you're going to go down one and one eighth, which is seven and five eighths. Take it across to your score line, and you're scoring from that score line to that score line only. Okay. So that's at 7 and 5 eighths, start at the first score line and score to the second score line. And that is going to be a cut line. That bit I do remember. Okay? Right, right, right. I think I finished with my scoreboard. I think. I think, I think, I think. I think. Right, so... We'll do the obvious and we'll burnish our complete score lines only. Okay. So, we're going to cut from there to there and from there to there, I think. Is that what I did? Yep. Did I do it? I know not. <laughs> be brave. I'm going to do it and be brave. So you're going to cut from the corner. Down to that score line. And do the same on the opposite side. And then cut straight across. You can now burnish that bit and cut straight across. If one can get one's scissors in one's place. Now we are going to, so we are, we are going to cut down the two bottom score lines, okay, just to, the, just to the score line above it, so get your score line, cut to the one above, score line, cut to the one above, and then miter those. And those are going to be folded in. Okay. And that's your front bit finished with. Now let's burnish these and see if we can remember what we did.
it's coming back to me slowly but surely. <laughs> it's amazing how quickly you can forget what you do. So you're just going to cut down the same as you did in the front one. These bits are going to fold it in there. So you're going to cut straight down the score line to the one above it. And straight down the score line to the one above it. And then might are in. And that's those ready to roll. Now, this bit here is going to fold over like that. So, I need to remove all of this on both sides. Okay? So, this rectangle and this rectangle remove completely. Cut it as straight as you can. Pass the first score line down to the second line and then cut off. Okay. And the same on the other side. Straight down at the score line. Pass the first and stop at the second. And then remove. Okay, so these will go in and this will come up and these will go over. Okay, now you need to mark at one and one eighths. One and one eighths on each side. You just want to make a mark. And you're going to cut down to that. Now just be careful what you're doing here. This is the bottom. So yes, you're going to cut from there to there. Like that. And then from there there okay and then this comes down over now I didn't think about this because I want to hide my magnets mmm mmm no I know brown cow cover the inside We'll get there and think about that at a later stage. <laughs> right, burnish all your score lines. Just the whole way along. I might emboss a piece of craft card and put it on that. I think that might work. So it might. This craft card is pretty darn strong stuff. Okay. So the idea is up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, like that. You hold your three dippers. So, mountain, valley, valley, mountain. Valley, valley, mountain. Valley, valley, mountain. Okay? That's how you're doing your... If you want to do it. I'm just going to... Reinforce those valleys now that I know where I want them. And then you're going to glue your mountain bits together. Okay. I 
that. Not sticking. It's being, it's being a pain in the butt. But we shall prevail. Brute force and ignorance. Works every time, apparently. So, like that, okay? Then you need to mark down one and one eighth on the front of these two on your mountains only. One and one eighth. Okay, one and one eighths. One and one eighths. And one and one eighths. Okay. Like that. Oh, did I have a pencil mark in that? Oops. This is a rubber that was gifted me by Kerry Mason in my um, pocket layer swap. It's a bumblebee. I got a bee on my desk and I don't mind. So now you're going to cut from that point to the edge on each one of them. Okay. Yeah. There she blows. that's going to hold our indoors, right? So, now back to the predicament of how we're going to hide our magnets. We have a means of making it work. Or in the film it said we have a and means of making you talk. It's amazing the stupidest things that I can remember, but the most important things that I can't remember. Um, I had a brain surgery and um, lost my memories, lots of them. So, but I can remember stupid things and then I can't remember Childhood memories. So that's the way it's going to sit there. Do you see how you're rocking and rolling? Okay. And that boy, that bad boy is going to sit in there like that. And that's going to come over like that and Hey presto! VR magic, 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 magic. Right, now, magnets. Because that's going to come over the top of that, like that. 
and when you put this on you can still cut some off that if it's not as perfect as you would like it or you can still take your scissors and cut some off it. I'm going to wait until I have put my magnets on somewhere. That's if I can find my magnets. TJ has struck again. And there are no magnets in Granny's craft room. Oops. What now? What now? How now, brain cow? I should have thought of that before I started, shouldn't I, really? Normally they're stuck to this light here. But TJ has a fascination for magnets. He likes things that move. He likes the fact that they can stick to his Thomas Minis. And I just like the fact that I can't find any. Okay, I gave up. I couldn't find them, so I've gone for Velcro dots. And I was going to use black, but then I realised that I'm using the white on there and white in my ribbon, so I'm going to use white. So, glue. Let's just glue. Let's glue our top piece together then. I've decided I'm going to buy a popper gum and poppers instead of magnets because of my five year old grandson's fascination with them and he's pretty smart so he knows not to eat them or anything but I can't find them then which is a waste of time buying them if I can't find them. So, there. TJ is. There. Right. And if I asked him where they are, he'll not. He, he'll have no idea. Like, like. They're as good as gone. Now, you can glue this bit in if you want. I didn't. And. I forgot to get the other three out. I have three. I've only got three. I, I, we have nine, but David and I ate. I ate two and David ate one. So we've only got these six left. So, if I can't get any more, the teachers won't be getting them in their gift bags. But I do have to be for this one. But they're over in my drawers and I can't be bothered getting up for them right I'm there and this is the bit where you can go then and if this outer bit is sticking over your under bit you can cut it off now maybe you should glue it on first I can't glue it on until I get my fasteners on but you can see what I'm talking about there I can cut that off and that's all flush then and on the other side there's not much of a difference there but you see and now it's all flush 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 right I want, I want the word, I know I'm a little OTT, but I want the word lint at the top so that they know when they're opening it what they're getting. Right, now. What way do we do? What way are we going to do this? What way? If we just stick... I suppose I could glue that down, because if I stick them on there and then stick them on there, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. So the last one I did was magnets and I hid them under this bit of paper and under this bit of paper. 
and I like the way that closes but I can't find them of course so it's got to be these ones velcro dots get on there Right. Oops, that's a bit wide looking. So it is. That's a bit wide looking there. No, I don't like that. I prefer the magnets, so if you've got magnets, do that. Unfortunately, I have none at this time. So this is what we're working with. So just put glue on the edges of your top rip now. You're so big. Pumpkin has finally gone to sleep. Pumpkin has been annoying Riley all morning because we are babysitting Pumpkin because her mummy has gone out for today. And Thor has gone home again to my son, which means Pumpkin has no one to play with. When you're doing that, just make sure you keep everything nice and tight. As tight as you can anyway. Sorry, that's annoying me. It's not tight enough down at the bottom. Oops, and it's stuck. I'll have to do them. Okay. I prefer the first one. I'm annoyed that I can't find my magnets now because it's not. I just prefer the first one. Okay, that's all there is to it. I prefer the magnets. Although it does work, yes, yeah, I suppose. Personal preference then, people. Personal preference. Like, see, I actually have to do this with this one, and then you have to make sure you have it. It doesn't automatically click into the right place, you have to make sure your two sides are even, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, shut up, Jack. Right, we're going to glue in our 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 hugs oh my word this thing puts down the tiniest amount of glue but when you've got no patience it like takes forever and guess he's got no patience and there's a bit in the middle of that 
little bit here. Zip. I'm holding my breath while I'm doing this. <laughs> Right, get it on as quickly as you can for the smaller stuff dries quicker. No, it has to go up a wee bit. There. Now, I did cut a white one again to see if I wanted to do that. Do I? What do you think? This or without the shadow? Hmm, decisions, decisions, decisions. I shall leave it off and then if you tell me that yes you prefer it, I can put it on. And I can see they put the pin back in. Oh my giddy and I am now now that I can see so well I'm impatient. Well, not that I was ever patient in the first place, like, but when you've waited over a year for an operation. But apparently they told me to do the next one within the six months. So, I will probably end up with the best eyesight I ever could possibly have with an, with an astigmatism. What? Oh, right, now we're just going to put you on there like that. Okay, and then we're going to take some of this pumpkin and we're going to use it. our tattered lace bow maker and make ourselves a bow. So... Now, I'm not a big ribbon person. I bought this, actually bought four rolls of ribbon because it was in the, it was in the, what do you call that? Clearance list, ha! Huh? So I bought four rolls of this. A green one and an orange one and another one. This is going to be a three pronged bow. That one was a double one. And then you just put it in there and you bring it through there and you tie. And I am going to put a glue dot on there to help it stay together. Just in a wee minute. Just trying to tighten this up as much as I can and then stick me glue dot down. Pull tight. And there you have a three pronged bow. Now to just 
Oops. Tidy up my tails. Right. Okay. And then that is going to go on there like that. We'll just use another glue dot, seeing as they're just sat in there. Ow! Sticky, sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Right, let's try and get it in the middle. Like that. Okay, now we need something to put on there. On the middle of that. I'm just I'm just being pernickety with my bow. Okay. Right. Hmm, what's in here? Where's the one that's open? This is what I should be asking myself. Where's the one? Because I've already used one. Come on, yeah, let's open up this end. And that's just why I did another one. Now, I'll just go for orange. And we're going to go for some orange gems. I always start off neat and tidy and, and keeping everything perfect and then by the end of it it just all falls apart one come on two three yeah. I can live with that velcros and all Okay, so, there you go, our three lender box. I still prefer the, the magnet one. Okay, so anyway, I hope you like the project. If you do, remember to put papers on and cover your magnets. Remember, I prefer the magnets. Tell me if you want me to put my hugs on in white. I just can't decision. And thank you very much for stopping by. It really is appreciated. Um, I hope to see you next time. Till next time, Jackie out.